We asked our Instagram followers who is the best Simic commander, and we can now tell you the top 10 best Simic commanders in MTG. 2023 update. Just making it onto this, we have Tatiova, Benthic Druid. Originally printed in 2018's Dominaria, this merfolk druid says whenever a land ETBs under your control, you gain one life and draw a card. These deck go all out lands, we're throwing in every card that we can sack to create more lands. Those classics like Evolving Wilds will hit for double the Tatiova triggers. We can also throw in the usually green loving cards that will allow us to play more than one land per turn. And of course, throw in every card with that landfall mechanic. We'll be getting triggers from our commander and more triggers from cards when lands ETB under our control. With plenty of creature landfall token creators, these decks go wide quick to help get that win. With plenty of reprints, this is a cheap commander to purchase too. Are you a fan of the Commander Masters alt art style? Let me know in the comments below. Before we get on to number 9, make sure to smash that like button and subscribe for all things MTG. Subscribing is completely free to do and it helps our channel grow and grow as we head towards 5,000 subscribers. Another way to help support the channel is to sign up to Card Market and use our referral code GATHERING-THE-MAGIC when signing up. Shout out to Chris Sky for using our code. You love to see it. Moving on to number 9, we have Emoti, Celebrant of Bounty. Originally printed in 2020's Commander Legends, Emoti has Cascade, and says spells you cast with mana value 6 or greater have Cascade. These decks go all out to big mana spells. We want big spells that are 6, 7, 8, 9 drop and more. Get Emoti out, play those big spells, and then get another hopefully big spell onto the field for free. Another strategy these decks tend to go is focus on those Eldrazi. Traditionally costly to cast and devastatingly powerful, once we've ramped enough to get out Emoti, start casting those Eldrazi and fingers crossed that we cascade another one straight onto the field. Lastly, Emoti isn't the cheapest commander to cast and we want plenty of mana to cast those big spells, so adding in all of that traditional ramp and more is so important. More ramp equals more big spells equals bigger board state equals big bad win. Next on our list we have Coma, Cosmos Serpent. Originally printed in 2021's Cal Time, Coma cannot be countered. At the beginning of each upkeep, create a 3-3 Serpent creature token named Coma's Coil. You can sack a Serpent to either tap target permanent, its activated abilities can't be activated this turn, or give Coma indestructible until end of turn. Starting with a popular route for Coma builders, going clone crazy. We're going to build out a deck that could allow us to have multiple copies of Coma. With plenty of cards that essentially stop Coma from being legendary, this is something that can get scary with all of those upkeep triggers. And once we have a non-legendary Coma on the field, copy those non-legendary Comas to have even more Serpent Madness. Speaking of Serpents, we can also lean into Fish Tribal. Have a variety of Serpents, Krakens, Leviathans and more so that we can go big and take advantage of those one-sided fish-loving cards to ride the wave to victory. In at number 7 we have Azuri Claw of Progress. Originally printed in Commander 2015, whenever a creature with power 2 or less ETBs under your control, you get an experience counter. At the beginning of combat on your turn, put X 1-1 counters onto another target creature you control, where X is the number of experience counters you have. The theme here is of course plus 1 plus 1 counters. We're adding in plenty of cheap 2-drop creatures or less, many with mechanics such as Evolve that love those counters. Also adding in ways to get more or double counters is essential. Really get an overwhelming advantage with Counter Chaos. A cool commander and another that is cheap to buy thanks to a bevy of reprints. Lastly, if you want to be devilishly disgusting, we have a variety of poison loving cards. Play them, get experience counters, plus one plus one those poison loving creatures, and quickly kill your opponents for the win. Narrowly missing out on the top half, we have Adrix and Nev, twin casters. Originally printed in Commander 2021, the twins have War 2, and if one or more tokens would be created under your control, twice that many of those tokens are created instead. There is only one way these decks go, and that is all out tokens. Starting with creatures, there are hundreds if not thousands of available cards that will create us tokens in those Simic colours, some falling under commanders we've already talked about, through landfall and even more. Of course, this doubling isn't limited to only creatures, go crazy with treasure and everything else, create double the value and theoretically get the win in doubly quick time. Lastly, go all out and have cards that make tokens even more powerful, make them ramp, give them flying and get the big wide overwhelming win. Next on up we have Kumina, Tyrant of Araska. Originally printed in 2018's Rivals of Ixlan, you can tap another untapped Murphite you control, making Kumina unblockable this turn. Tap 3 untapped Murphite you control, draw a card. And tap 5 untapped Murphite you control, put a plus 1 plus 1 counter on each Murphite you control. 
the obvious theme here is a myriad of merfolk. With over 250 merfolk cards in MTG and around 90% being blue, green or both, this will be a deck where you're more likely struggling to decide which merfolk to cut from the 99. An incredible creature type within MTG, merfolk together are so synergistic. Cards that beef up other merfolk, cards that cheapen out other merfolk and even cards that get plus one plus one counters on our merfolk. An incredible commander, and one that has never been reprinted, so maybe we'll see one in the Lost Caverns of Ixalan, or maybe even a new Kamena. Just missing out on the bronze medal spot, we have Ivy Gleeful Spellthief. Originally printed in last year's Dominaria United, this flying fairy says whenever a player casts a spell that targets only a single creature other than Ivy, you may copy that spell. The spell copies Ivy. Many ways to go with Ivy, the first one being Auras. We want to fill our Ivy decks with an assortment of those enchantments, target our other creatures, giving them a boost, making them unblockable, and plenty more to give then Ivy a copy of that aura. Another method which we went through in a previous budget brew, check it out after this video, is to focus on that mutate. We mutate a creature onto another one of our creatures, then we get a mutating copy onto Ivy, which will cause plenty of mutating mayhem. Usually mutate has a trigger itself too, so that's double the mutate triggers thanks to Ivy. With other ways to go with Ivy, such as cantrips or again copying things like crazy, this is a commander that has such flexibility that you can easily create your own unique Ivy. Now that is something that you love to see. For the third best commander we have Kinnan Bonder Prodigy. Originally printed in 2020's iconic Ikoria set, Kinnan says whenever you tap a non-land permanent for mana, add one mana of any colour that permanent produced. You can pay 5 in Simic to look at the top 5 cards of your library. You may put a non-human creature from among them onto the field. The first common theme with these decks is to go Elves. Elves and tapping for mana go hand in hand, and with an endless amount being printed within the MTG world, thanks to Kinnan, we can double that mana to get ahead at the table. Once again with Kinnan's expensive ability, many MTG players try to cheat out of those expensive Eldrazi. Normally costing more than 7 mana, you get so much value whilst also getting out a terrifying board state. Finally, with all that extra mana thanks to Kinnan's love of tappy double mana makers, throw in some big mana cards to get you ahead, get the win, and make all of your friends hate that 2-2 human druid. Runner up and the second best commander, we have Volo, Guide to Monsters. Originally printed in 2021's Adventure in the Forgotten Realms, Volo says whenever you cast a creature spell that doesn't share a creature type with a creature you control or a creature card in your graveyard, copy that spell. A commander we covered a few years back during Decktober, similar to Ivy, we went down that partial mutate lane, a near 40 creature deck with a variety of creature types to trigger Volo as much as possible. This creature variety can vary from ramp to creature boosters, removal and even huge creatures that we can have second copies of and smash down on our opponents. Volo decks also go down that pod route, sack a creature, tutor through your library and cast another creature of your choosing, triggering Volo and going copy galore. A great commander, and one that Meme Master Steve has brewed to perfection too. Winner and the best Simic commander is Icy, Tyrant of Gaia Strait. Another from 2020's Commander Legends, this serpent says you may play an additional land on each of your turns. Whenever a land ETBs under your control, you may draw a card. Going full circle on this video, Icy is essentially Tatiova on steroids. We are once again throwing in plenty of land loving cards, cards that enable us to play extra lands, because why play just two with Icy when we could play even more? And once again, we're hitting up all of those landfall loving cards. Get even more triggers and gain more value when each and every land hits the field. Lastly, really do go full circle in your game too. Add in some cards that will enable us to play lands from our graveyard. We're most likely throwing in plenty of sack lands, so get in some recursion and have all of the mana. And as we know, more mana equals more chance to play spells and win the game. A really good card released in a very good Commander Legends set, and one that is rightfully the best Simic Commander in all of MTG. There we have it, that is the top 10 Simic list. Thank you so much for watching, and don't forget to like, share and subscribe for all things MTG. Check out our link tree for all of our social media and affiliate links. For now though, I'm all tapped out, so I'll see you in the next video.